When a patient presents with a herniated disc or radicular, which means nerve root type pain, they'll often be referred for an epidural injection. When I do the procedures for herniated discs or nerve root type pain, we're doing it often with sedation. I'm using a special digital x-ray called a fluoroscopy machine to see where I'm going and I'm using generally a much smaller needle. There's several different ways to do an epidural for purposes of pain or epidural steroid injection. More often than not, I've been doing uh, transforaminal injections, which means it's a very targeted approach to the epidural space that gets adjacent right next to one of the nerve roots and very close to the disc, so that if someone has a herniated disc, a bulging disc, that's irritating a nerve root, it's presumably it's putting the medicine right next to that nerve root and the inflamed disc. And it's a very small needle. It can be done safely with just straight local or with local and a little bit of sedation. Because it's a smaller needle, there's less risk of damaging the nerve, of bleeding, and of pain. The recovery after one of these injections is essentially immediate. The procedure takes maybe 20 minutes to do and you go home the same day. Sometimes people are a little sore from the injection site and usually ice and Advil will be enough for that. And then it really the question is how well does the steroid work at solving the underlying problems? The steroid injections don't magically shrink the disc. They don't magically fix the problem. Your body has to do that. And statistically, the great, great, great majority of herniated discs will resolve on their own. The question is really, can you survive the period comfortably until your body fixes itself? And there are ways to do that. Physical therapy often helps. The injections can help reduce the pain so that you can become more active, you can go back to your daily life, and then ultimately just make your life more comfortable while you're sort of waiting and healing.